So quoting from the author's note, uh, you've written, practice of management is driven more by fiction than by facts. Could you please elaborate on that? Well, you just look at two major indicators of management practice. One is the balance sheet. The other is the performance appraisal form. In the balance sheet, table and a chair is an asset. A human being is a liability. Now, isn't this a piece of fiction? Balance sheet is about a past transaction. It does not reflect the current reality of the organization. It's always a past. So it's a piece of fiction. Look at a performance appraisal format. Now, what do you do in a performance, typical performance appraisal process? You mark a person in terms of analytical skills, communication ability, leadership ability, and then you're supposed to add up those scores and give a promotion. But in reality, what happens, you ask any HR head of a company, in reality, you decide whom you would promote, and then you fill up the form, right? That's a piece of fiction. So if you look at the entirety of the world of business, it is based on symbolic value that you put on assets, on liability, and then you calculate based on the symbolic value. So fundamentally, you can have a great balance sheet and a, and a poor company. And so fundamentally, what you have to look at is the world of fiction is not a piece of lie. Fiction is an imaginative exploration of a world that cannot be explored any other way. So that is fundamental to understanding the world of business. You have to understand just as you're navigating what you assume to be the real world is very rarely the real world. And I think from my protagonist Keshav's point of view, the world of fiction and the world of facts are pretty blurred. They, they, there are no hard lines there.